And hello, this is the Prussian Prince. Sorry, gotta get my microphone slightly closer so you can hear me better. Yes, this is the Prussian Prince with another StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm replay cast. And this is going to be Terran versus Zerg. Of course, I am the Prince because I cannot use the Prussian Prince in game. Unfortunately, there is a character limit and the Prussian Prince exceeds the character limit. Anyway, my opponent is, as I said before, a Zerg. He's uh, called Battleman, part of the G-Squad group or clan, not sure exactly what it is. Don't think it's uh, anything pretty much known. Production tab, obviously no six pull, no seven pull. Nothing crazy like that from him or from me. No proxy racks, no proxy double racks even. And we will see how this game uh, goes on. So, for starters, you can see he has this cool overlord icon, and my marines also look pretty cool recently because I reached level 30, yay! So, I unlocked the new skin. <sighs> now, obviously, he's still droning up, and I'm getting this Rax here. And after Rax, you rally your, I think it is your 12th SCV to this gas and once he arrives here you start the refinery and then you queue up another SCV that is the 12 racks 12 gas build I wonder if I'm gonna go reapers or just add on straight the reactor or factory we'll see forgot what I did in this game even though this is the last game that I played so he's gonna go 15 hatch very cool stuff by him just uh, super standard and Playing standard just shows that you're confident in your ability to scout and react properly to what opponents do. Now he's gonna get a 15 pull, also standard, and then 14 gas. Uh, so it's a very good build, of course. He's gonna get speed and everything. I didn't actually scout anything, but I'm getting my Reaper out. He's trying to attack this depot, very cute by him. So you can see I'm just queuing up another reaper and once this is done I'm probably going to rally it to those minerals and then over here to start my CC. The CC is very cool. And then yeah, the spawning pole is almost done for him. I actually forgot when he started his overlord. Would be cool so I can learn Zerg build orders too because it seems like his build order is pretty standard so far. So I have this reaper going over here. I actually see this overlord, but I don't really see much else. So here I keep on going. Trying to scout out exactly what's happening, but I don't really see much. Uh, now for the rest of his uh, build order, yeah, we just see double queen and he's gonna... I actually just like his move that he does over here. Sending all those drones over here. Why would you send so many drones? You, sh he, you should just saturate this. Then saturate this, and he still still has maybe one drone in gas. I think he just wants to get there, even though it's gonna take a while. So as you can see, my Reaper already got uh, two kills. I'm gonna get uh, another drone kill, and I'm gonna get another drone kill. I think. Yes, and another. So already my Reapers have pretty much paid for themselves. One kill, one kill, four kills. Ooh, am I gonna lose? I lost one, but still that was very effective and obviously getting my CC down over here factory and reactor I'm not spending my money. There we go. I'm spending it now getting another CC The standard 3 CC to eBay build. Well not standard just a little bit greedy, but still Should be getting orbital command over here Indeed. Another reactor just so I can add on a starport over here and put it over the reactor to go hellbat drops this game I think we will see uh, as for my opponent, yeah, you can see his links are, look really funny and cool, actually. Hmm. And still, unit stab. I have more SCVs than he has drones already. I'm ahead in this game. You can see also by the supply count. Not supposed to, uh, this is not supposed to happen. I turn uh, being ahead of uh, Zerg in terms of worker numbers and the reason why that's not supposed to happen is because uh, Heron just has they have mules so as a Zerg or as a Protoss you're supposed to have more workers than uh, than uh, the 
the Terran just because of mules. That's not... How should I put it? That's not imbalanced because Protoss can make more workers and they can... And Zerg can make a lot of drones instantly, so that's... That's the way the game is balanced, in that sense. It's asymmetric balance, but I actually like it. It just offers something unique to races. And it's pretty balanced, so why not? It just gives a... Uh, just gives a uh, bit of a uh, more... Per, uh, how should I put it? A cooler feel to each of the races. Let's put it at that. So now he does have more drones than SCVs, but still not enough because I have two orbital commands and you know how that goes. Ooh, he does have a lot of heavens here though. And that's just making me scared. And yeah, I cancelled those because I couldn't really do anything. And I'm not sure what I'm doing because I'm not really producing SCVs, so I'm just... But yeah, I did take down all of his things already very big for me. Now I'm just producing three SCVs at a time, which is insanity. It's just very cool. And those Hellbats just got a lot of kills. So he's just gonna go double Evos over here and then I think this is two Spines and also has some Lings over here that he wants to use. Yeah, he's gonna use the screen to block off in case try to run in with Hellions. Very cool move from him. And I'm also putting down Depots to make sure that he can't Go through my defense line. Probably should repair those two Hellbats because they're pretty nice to have repaired. And there we go, I send one SCV to repair the Hellbats and this Hellion. And this one as well, so why not? Should send more though, and I have this SCV doing nothing over here. Probably should fix that. As for my opponent, here we go, we have 24 links for him. And I'm still ahead in supply, still macroing slightly better than him, just slightly. Um, he's spreading out his creep now though, which is good. His queens do have a lot of uh, energy though, which means he hasn't really been having the best injects. He probably should throw down another hatchery, a macro hatch, after throwing down his third base, perhaps. Because he has a lot of money. I don't, but I'm still gonna add my double ebays, which actually come in a little bit late compared to his. But he's only getting plus one armor. He could really afford plus one um, melee attacks or missile attacks depending on what he wants to go. Actually I did do a drop over here which I missed but I roasted a lot of units and here we go. Uh, I I didn't actually do that. But I think I'll be able to take down a lot of them. Yeah. How about power? And here I actually lose everything. No I don't, I still keep that many back. But that was very effective and he didn't macro behind it. I kind of did. Now I have uh, 11 extra SCVs. He didn't make a lot of drones to replace his uh, old ones. He's going down with the bailing nest now and more drones on the way so he'll be up in drones in no time basically. I'm still mass producing SCVs so it's not like... Yeah of course I'm, my workers don't go up that quickly but I can also make army while doing that so pretty cool for me. And obviously just queuing up two more Hellbat drops, that's gonna be cool, probably over here or something. Uh, and my third CC gonna go down there, so I'll have my third hatchery a little bit later than he, my third CC, my third base set up before, uh, I mean after he gets his third hatchery, but this is okay his turn, especially look at this situation. Now I'm not macroing so well, I think I'm just uh, Focusing on doing these combat drops and oh my roast some units. I can actually do anything. I think I'm just gonna target this queen and he's doing a very smart thing with this queen targeting down my medivac. He's gonna get it. Yeah. Just barely. I'm gonna get his queen too though. And here comes my medivac. Am I gonna get a good swipe on his uh No I could. But here I come. Am I gonna get there? Am I gonna get some decent hits? see 50 drones he has oh he has 48 he has. oh he has 37 now so he did lose a lot and he could have lost even more drones so that was very effective for me if you look at this though i haven't been macroing at all just micro uh, microing like crazy i do have my reactors on the way over here so i'll be able to mass produce lots and lots of uh, marines and marauders and everything 
have another Hellbat drop that I can send out. I'm just waiting for another two more Hellbats. I'm killing these SCVs because they're stuck, unfortunately. And yeah, now my supply is just shooting up as I have all those uh, barracks finishing. And I didn't actually kill this SCV. That's a mistake. Uh, now my natural. I'm still fully saturated. My third base. Not really fully saturated, which is a mistake. Probably should send down a couple workers from here. And he's getting even spore and spine here because he's afraid of Hellbat drops. Doing the same thing again over here. Does have Spire though, which could help him stop my Hellbat drops because obviously Hellbats don't shoot up. But you'll have to use his Mutalisks very well, especially, especially considering that he only has three of those. So yeah, I had my depots very late, but once I add all of these, I should be fine. So yeah. Oh, and actually, here comes another Hellbat drop. Took down a lot more units. Units lost tab. I did lose some, but. He lost some more than me, so overall it's effective. Zero kills with this Hellbat, unfortunately. Hmm. But he's still I'm still 15 SCVs ahead of him, so I'm just very much ahead in this game. Now Macro is still slipping for me, but that's okay because of just how far ahead in the game I am. Probably should be dropping down how many barracks do I have? Well I have wait. I can't press the hotkeys over here, unfortunately. So I have... Yeah, now I'm making a lot more Raxes so I can fully produce this, but... Working Raxes, I have five, and five is not enough for three base. You want eight, I believe, for three base convergence point. Anyway, uh, we do have 140 supply against my opponent's 83. Just have 58 drones now, so he's uh, he has actually caught up to my SCV count, but I still have mules, as I was saying before. I should probably be making a few more SCVs. This isn't fully saturated, and neither is this. Income tab shows that I'm actually behind him. Despite, uh, and he's gonna get even further ahead with income, because my saturation isn't that great. I have 9 SCVs here, 9 there. Hmm, yeah, I have all these SCVs that have done nothing. Should send four more here, and then like uh, around seven more here, and seven more here, and then I would have I'd just shoot up in income. But here we go, I have 21 here, too many, and I'm sending two more Hellbats over here. So actually, income wise, I wasn't ahead of it. But yeah, I did lose one drop very easily, and this drop did nothing either, so I lost some more supply. But look at my army. Just army supply heavily in favor of me, worker supply too. So I guess I did get a couple drones or he just started something, I'm not sure. But yeah, he has mutalisks and banelings and some lings, but that's not a lot that he has. He is in a lot of trouble, uh, especially as I move out now. Army supply heavily in favor of me and I actually, I'm actually going really low on VS uh, scouter. <laughs> But yeah, here comes my army, and here come the mutalisks for him, and we'll see how this goes. Ooh, gonna be very, very, very one-sided. Oh, once again. Nearly. So then, yeah, he did, uh, did lose some HP on his mutalisks, but now I'm scanning and taking out all three timers. My marines have 2-2. Two, two. Banelings and Nings have 1-2. Mutalisks on 0 0, so I have a huge upgrade uh, lead over him. A uh, huge army supply lead over him, too, and I'm not actually. I am macro inspired. My macro was actually. Micro wasn't the best here. I did do some splits, but they were not the best. So, even though I wasn't as effective as I could have been in this, uh, this engagement, I still have. Uh, I still have pretty good uh, money behind this to support it, and I have other better units with the upgrade here. So, he's gonna try and get me over here, but I, ha I still have the Hellbat. Helps with some more link kills and inner Hellbat. But yeah, over here, that he does actually equalize the supply. Very bad for me, but I start macroing a lot more, so I'm already up to 146 supply. Here I have more and more units. 
Damn, these two, these three marines do absolutely nothing. Stimming down my marines over. Dude, this uh, is a Naga Watchtower. And actually, I'm gonna try and go for the Unalists, and he did lose. Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, well, let's see APM tap. He does actually have a lot of APM. Ready for dust off. Oh yeah, he's actually very fast. Just look at, he's pretty fast. In fact, yeah, but I'm actually slightly faster than him. You can see by my FP bot. I mean, there should be an engagement going on very soon. I think. Yeah, his current did drop. His current APM did drop down a little bit. Doesn't actually hotkey his uh, illusion chambers with his hatcheries or even alone. Hmm. Interesting. But look at just how far ahead I am. And income wise, yeah, I'm still. Now that this is saturated, this is saturated well, and this is saturated well now. I'm getting a lot more money than he is, especially with mules. Should be getting a CC over here, but yeah, just, just look at this army supply. Part of 36 to 71, he shouldn't really have much chance in this game right now. But here he comes in with limbs and stuff, but I have a lot of marauders actually. <laughs> Quite a lot of marauders in this competition. 19 and 32 marines. So yeah, this game is over, so it does indeed GG. And I managed to somehow win this game, even though it wasn't particularly impressive from me. But anyway, as usual, I just need to improve my scouting, slightly my macro and multitasking, and, uh, well, not slightly, a lot, I guess. I also need to make sure that I know what he's doing, which I guess falls under the scouting category. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.